Hello and welcome to my workshop. I feel a little bit like a, a gunslinger uh, this week. Of course I'm in stereo now. Well, I'm not sure what how much stereo effect there's going to be. So I've got two mics just here with the radio transmitters here. Um, so I'm just doing a couple of tests uh, as I do the video today. So today, what we're going to... Now, the last video last week... Um, what I did, uh, I set the 6040 up with Mark III um, and just got the motors running and I gave information to, and enough information just to get the motors running. Um, now this week what I'm going to do is we're going to tune, fine tune everything in and um, we're going to get the Z height tool uh, set in setting tool all set up uh, and I'll show you how to do that uh, in Mark 3 and um, also optimize the acceleration uh, of the motors and the, the speed in which they operate and I'll show you how to do that in Mark 3 in other words speed them all up so it operates at an efficient level um, You'll probably notice that a fair bit faster on this machine than anything else that you'll see on YouTube because um, this machine is built um, to an, an industrial standard um, as much of an industrial standard that you can uh, manufacture a 6040 machine. Um, so let's get on with it. I've taken the top off the aluminium control box and inside it looks to have you know the best type of uh, drivers and control unit and uh, power supply is well laid out and uh, looks quite professional so uh, I, I was quite happy with it so uh, I hope this uh, satisfies those who have asked to have a look inside Okay, so the first thing to do now is come up to config and open up there, go to motor tuning. Okay, so these are the figures that we uh, put in last time just to get the motors running and just to say, well, we got the machine operating. And I can tell you that velocity, now this is inches or millimeters per second. Now this machine is uh, set in the metric scale, so in our case it's millimeters per second velocity. Now we're going to say 3000. For that, and for acceleration, we'll try 50. Save axis. Enter. OK. And I always press the reset on and off. It reconfigures Mark 3. And we'll see what that looks like. See, it's a very sort of <laughs> sedentary. Uh, sort of uh, acceleration up to maximum speed and a, a you know sort of a pretty relaxed deacceleration as well. So let's try that again. Okay so I think we can alter that, uh, to, we can speed that up quite a bit more. Okay back in the config, motor tuning, it's already set on at the x-axis. Now I know this machine uh, the perfect uh, setting for the acceleration is 200. Save. OK. And I'll show you what that looks like. 
And there's the difference. So now we have a fairly immediate acceleration and deacceleration, and the head is operating um, fairly quickly in all directions. So now this is properly set up. This is set up for this machine, this particular machine. Okay, now we're going to set up slow jog and fast jog. Now if you'll notice, if I press these arrows and jog it around, uh, it's moving at full fast jog speed. Now I'll show you the reason for that and how to alter it. So if you press the tab key, uh, you get a, a, an MPG flyout, which is built into Mac 3. Now, if you see here, slow jog rate is set at 100%. So, to be able to get the slow jog rate, what we're going to do is take this percentage down to, I think, 50%. And press Enter tab. So now you have a slow jog rate, but if you press shift you have the fast speed. So that's how you you get uh, obtain uh, fast jog and slow jog. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is home the machine. So that's uh, simply done by pressing the home on Mac 3. I don't know whether you can see that little red light there. Uh, this is the uh, indicator LED uh, saying, uh, telling me that the proximity switch has uh, triggered and uh, stopped the axes. Okay, there are three of these um, proximity sensors. One here for the Y, one here for the X and there's one inside this cowling here for the, the Z and you can see they, they do a fantastic job.